Hi everyone, it's Joy. So, get something to eat, get something to drink, get a snack. It's going to be a long one. And it's a collective haul. So, it's stuff that I've gotten in the past couple months. But it's been a while. Okay, let's get started. I'm all jacked up. Okay. Dad, okay, let's make sure we're decent. Are we decent? Okay. Woo! Ready? Here we go. First of all, some color pop blushes. And I've used a couple of these already. This one is called Between the Sheets. <clears throat> I have really bad allergies today, so sorry. Between the sheets, between the sheets. Are these all different? Birthday suit and trickery. Yes, they're all different. Okay, between the sheets. Looks like that. It's actually really pretty darn light. Let's try not to get it on my shirt. Let's see if we can do some swatches. There it is. Between the sheets, really, 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 really pretty. Really, 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 really pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, here we have trickery. <laughs> God, I really close the lids on these babies. I haven't tried this one yet. It's more of a corally color. This one will be fun for... Summertime. Oh, I just love the consistency. Problem is, once you start using them, you jack up the pretty line on them. Okay, that one's a pretty pale, corally color. Trickery. And then birthday suit. This one is more of a purpley, pinky, mauve color. Really like this color. So there's that one. So there's the three color pop blushes that I have. I thought it was a good variety, like a mauve, an orangey, and then kind of a neutral color. A powder that I have been using recently is the Ben Nye, and it is the banana powder. And who was it? Who was it? Oh gosh, I can see her face. I can see it. Candy Johnson. <laughs> She's so cute. How can you not see her face? Candy Johnson. I was watching a video that she did and she was saying that this baby was her holy grail. She didn't use the loose one. She used this pressed one, the one with the BN on it. And I love it. I've only used it four times. But, you know, something like this, you know whether you like it or not. You know when it settles into your eyes, if it settles into your lines. You just, you know, if it's going to be yucky or not. Within the first two times that you've used it, usually within the first time that you've used it, I've used this now for about four or five times, and I love it. My favorite brush to use it with... I got these new brushes, which is part of my haul, from Beautylish. And these are the Ray Morris brushes. These are really fun brushes. I only have four, but I am so going to get some more. Okay, watch this. This is just a Bath & Body Works candle lid. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh. All right, well, maybe you can't turn it back side down. Back right side up. But check it out, they're metallic. I think that is just so genius. Except for, see I could never be a waitress because I can't hold a tray, I can't serve. I'm such a klutz. Back to what I was saying, my favorite brush is this one. And it's the Ray Morris number no. two mini kabuki. It's awesome. I have, I've only washed it one time before I used it and I've used this brush. 
I've had this for like a month and a half now. I use it all the time. And look how white it still is. Of course, I use it with highlighters and banana powder, but oh, I just, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've got drier skin. So, I mean, I really have to work. <laughs> I have to work <laughs> to look presentable. It takes a lot of work. This brush and this powder are really, 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 really good. I love them. My new favorite foundation brush for the time being, of course, because we're always trying new things. Number 23, Liquid Foundation Brush by Ray Morris. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's amazing. It's different layers. It's synthetic and goat hair. It's both. And what I do is I put on my foundation, my concealer and everything. I use my fingers. I use my hands. I like to get it warm. When I'm all done with all that, I take this brush and I literally, I buff everything into my face. With circular motions. I love this brush. Almost all brushes will do an okay job. This brush will get in and buff things that I've gotten into my pores that I really, really don't like. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that brush. I will, I will use more of her brushes. This brush I got because it is a cream shadow shader. It's number 8.5. You can buy all these at beautylish.com. This one I bought for like when I get into a paint pot and it's getting really down low or something like that. I can dig this in there and and use it. It's for cream. I haven't used it that much. I tend to reach for my MAC brushes, my synthetic brushes. This is the crease brush. It is the Deluxe Point Shader, number seven. And this one I love. It, it's, got a, it's got a good tip where you can use it lightly if you just want to do a little bit. And it's fluffy enough where you can really push those shadows around. So this became more of a haul on these brushes. I mean, a review on the brushes anyway, but though I like the brushes, I think they're really cool because they stand up so they, I can, you know, just use them and pick at them when I need them. Okay. That's it on that. That's it on the powder. Okay. Let's do Cinderella. Next is the Cinderella collection. Let me show you what I got from the Cinderella collection, the packaging. It's kind of cute for Easter time. Powder blue. I got Coupe de Chic. And this is the powder. I'm wearing this today. It doesn't have a lot of pigment. And it's not very soft. I mean, you can't see anything, right? Nada. Really disappointing. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. You didn't miss out. My daughter wanted one of these and I said, you don't want one of those, it's crap. <laughs> there's nothing to it. Literally, there's nothing. Okay, enough with the nothing. What did sell out though that she wanted, and I was sad for her, because I ordered mine online was the eyeshadows. These are amazing. I use them a lot. I love them. They're really great. If you can ever find one and get your hands on it, get it. It's really, really, really good. The colors look really pretty on. Okay, both of the lipsticks I ended up getting. Royal Ball and Free as a Butterfly. Cute packaging. Oops. Royal Ball. 
again with the pigmentation not amazing but if you wear it with a you know wear a liner see not much to it okay I have on Anastasia baby pink and what else oh and Lumiere liner underneath it so th something like this over the top of that would be nice let's try that let me get a mirror we'll use the crap product huh and it will just lighten it up there so the pigmentation is by itself is not amazing but if you're wearing a darker lipstick see now it's all jacked up ah. oh my phone just buzzed and if you're wearing a darker lipstick and you want to lighten it up it's the perfect lipstick for that or if you like that washed out nude concealer look on your lips then it's the one for you Okay, this one, free as a butterfly, is even less pigmentation. This one is, I mean, literally, this, see, it looks like concealer. Totally has nada. That's like swiping over and over and over and over. So, I don't think anybody missed out on anything. The packaging is fun. Um, I got them because I, you know, I just kind of am collecting more limited edition items than anything else because they're fun to collect. But other than that, you didn't really miss out because there's nothing that you have to have except for the eyeshadow. I think the eyeshadows are pretty good. And then the next collection that I only got two items from was the Bobo Wan. And I got Burmese Kiss and Romantic um, Breakdown. Romantic Breakdown. See, here's the packaging. Kind of nice. It's got that rubbery feel like NARS. It's another nude. Just another nude. Has the same pigmentation as, say, Royal Ball. They look almost the same. Now this one is more fun. Burmese Kiss. That one actually has some color. <laughs> Yay! So that one was worth it. Okay, that one's Burmese Kiss. Moving right along. This I picked up, I backed back to Mac some items and I picked up Chatterbox. One of the few colors from MAC that I do not own. Chatterbox. It's a bright pink. It looks more muted there. It's not as bright. It is an amplified. It's not as bright as, say, Candy Yum Yum. It's brighter than, uh, it's more pink than Up the Amp. Up the amp is more purpley. It is an amplified. Yes, it is an amplified. It's an amplified cream. But it looks really bright on the lips. So I thought I would go outside my comfort zone and get something that I didn't have. Okay, now I know a lot of people are boycotting Lime Crime. I ordered these and got these before all the hullabaloo. Um, I got them through PayPal, so I was not subjected to any of that crizap. Thank goodness. But I have not even tried these yet. Brand new. This one is Velvet Pink. I don't know how they used to be. Everybody says that the consistency on these ones now are watery and 
they're full of air and I have no idea. I can't speak to any of that. I never owned them before. So velvet pink right here and velvet red. Velvet red. Red velvet. So I got the, a pink one and a red one just to try them out. There's a lot of other liquid lipstick lines out there. And let me show you a few. Anastasia, Pure Hollywood, and Baby Pink. Pure Hollywood. A lot of people are not liking this one. I like it. I put it on with a liner. I like it. It does wash you out and it is pretty drying, but I like it. If you put another color on top of it, like this Baby Pink, it's pretty. Now for me, the Baby Pink Oh gosh, bad swatch. The baby pink goes on uh, kind of chalky. The pure Hollywood is a little bit more opaque. You can see on my hand how opaque pure Hollywood is and kind of how chalky the baby pink is. Not quite as opaque. But uh, you know, everybody says the darker you go with these, the more opaque. So I would go darker. I have a couple from Stila, Stay All Day. I have, this one is Patina, P-I-T-N-A. This is my favorite by Stila. I love that one. That's Patina. I like that one the best. Nude, and this is a vinyl Stay All Day by Stila. Haven't used it yet. Oh, looks really cool though. So it's a little bit more um, mauve. Oh, I like that one. See, to me, patina looks a lot like cashmere, but I, I've never owned cashmere, so I don't know. But it, you know, if you're having issues with that company, I think patina looks a lot like cashmere. There is a new line out now as well called LA Splash, and I've ordered from them. I haven't received them yet. When I do, I will. I have two orders actually coming in from them. So when I get them both, I will do a swatch and a, show you those. This is Kat Von D. Oh, so Jeffrey, this one is called Jeffrey. I've worn this one. I like the color a lot. It's that one right there, the end one. It is very drying but I really like the color. And I have one more from Kat Von D. Berlin, ooh, ooh, Berlin. Yeah, pretty, huh? That one's really bright red. Some of you would wear that, and some of you wouldn't. I would, <laughs> but then I would probably put a lighter color eventually over it. So I think that's a pretty good variety of liquid lipsticks. I'm happy with those. There's a few, I just wanted to try the ones from LA Splash to see, cause they're half the, they're like $11.99, they're half the price. So if they're anything close to what these more expensive ones are, then that would be good. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for now, cause we're at 25 minutes. So I'm gonna edit this down, cause I'm learning how to edit you guys. And um, hopefully then maybe I can get it down to like 10 or 15 minutes so y'all won't go crazy with boredom while you watch. All right, got to get the hair done. Gray's popping out. I hope you're all doing great. Have a wonderful week or weekend, depending on when this goes up. Be well, my friends. Take care. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. start hauling and quit reviewing. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't even know if it's worth showing it because it's sold out. Did I show these already? I can't remember if I showed these already. That's a bad YouTuber when you can't remember if you've already showed something. Did I do that already? Whoops, whoops. I'm going to cut this out and go find out if I showed this to you already. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to cut this out, but you'll never even see that.